is there a miswa to drink wine on Purim, though not to get drunk? Um, is red wine preferable? And can one drink other alcoholic beverages instead? Okay, let's begin at the end. Is red wine preferable? No, there's no preference for the type of alcoholic beverage. Wine is what is mentioned by Hazal because that was the most common uh, beverage. They did have beer, true, uh, particularly in Bavel, in Eretz Yisrael, perhaps less so. Uh, but uh, there's no preference for dafka red wine. It can be white wine. It can be any kind of wine. It can be beer. It can be other kinds of alcoholic beverages. Should one get drunk on Purim? Absolutely, emphatically, no. I do not believe that is the meaning of the uh, of the of the statement in Masechet uh, Merila, which speaks about liv sume or lav sume or lab besume. That word in Aramaic does not mean to get drunk. The word in Aramaic to get drunk is liruye, milashon rawe, resh, wow, yod. Wherever the term is used in the Targum Onkelos and other places, in the Talmud as well, when it speaks about getting drunk, mamash, then it does not use the word la besume. It talks about liruye. We see this in Masechet Barachot, uh, where um, Eliyahu and Navi says to Rav Shimon Hasida, uh, do not get drunk and, and you will not sin. In other words, because being drunk can lead to all kinds of improper practices. It doesn't say la ibseme or something like that. It doesn't use that shoresh. It uses the shoresh of rawe. He says, la tirwe la And that's very deliberate. In Masech of Mechila, when it says, mihayav enesh la it means to, as we say in English, uh, to to uh, drink to the point of being of lo- being a little bit loosened up, shall we say, a bit more than usual, but not more than that. Now, some people might describe it as being a bit jolly, uh, but in a very uh, in a very uh, controlled manner. But not no, no, in no way is it talking about being drunk. Now, a person might say, but didn't you just read from the Rambam? The Rambam says, I think that Rambam's use of that Lashon there is is imprecise. In other words, the word Lishtaker in Hebrew can sometimes mean, as in this case it does, I think, in the Rambam, can sometimes mean to drink, uh, again, so to the point that it has a little, some, some effect on you, but uh, not that you should become drunk. In other words, what we all know, many people, I think, react this way when they drink some alcoholic beverages, it tends to make them drowsy. Now, being drowsy is not the same as being drunk, as we all know, right? You put, some people might be uh, drowsy after one glass of wine, and some people after two glasses of wine, and some people after uh, two glasses of beer, or, and some people after one or two shots of whiskey or what have you. That's fine. If it makes you a bit drowsy, that's exactly what Rambam was talking about. Because Rambam said, and I quote again precisely, Rambam says in Perek Beth, after he spoke about eating, so a nice fancy meal, and one drinks wine, and, and one literally falls asleep. In other words, one becomes drowsy. Normally, if, if one is not uh, pressed for time or doesn't have other obligations, if you become drowsy, what do you do? You go to sleep, you take a nap. That's fine. That's exactly what, what is meant. Becoming drunk uh, to the point that one acts like a fool and uh, and uh, inconveniences other people and uh, vomits and, and acts in, in a way which is uh, totally animalistic and un, un, unacceptable and entirely not Jewish is... And, and opposed to what, what the Torah teaches us in every way, in every respect, that is entirely not what uh, that statement of the Gemara was meant to imply. And this, what I'm telling you now, one can find by looking in uh, in the Tur and in the Beth Yosef on this on this halacha, and you will see that the Beth Yosef brings several sources uh, from Rishonim, all to the effect that one should should not, one must not get drunk on Purim. Thank you. I think the other part of the question was um, 
was maybe they were already answered this about other alcoholic alcoholic beverages other than other I than did, wine. I did mention that any all alcoholic beverages are fine, right? If drunk okay. in moderation. Thank you, Rabbi Bar Chaim. We would like to encourage our viewers to share these videos with friends and send in your responses. We would also like to suggest the following opportunity to our viewers. If you identify with Rabbi Bar Chaim's message and would like to sponsor or dedicate a video interview with the rabbi in honor or memory of a loved one, if you would like to obtain Birkon Nusach Eretz Yisrael or invite the rabbi for a speaking engagement, please email us at office at machonchilo.org. If you are inspired by Rabbi Bar Chaim's message and would like to get involved in Torah Teretzishul activities in your local area, please fill out the relevant form by going to the link which appears on the screen.